Ladies, gentlemen, Clashers and DoorDashers, welcome back to another JPS Clash episode and welcome to an absolute masterclass. We are currently in Clan War League. As you can see at the top left hand corner of my screen, we are in current round four out of seven, but I'm calling it. I'm calling it already. I'm, I'm waving the white flag for the other clans already. Uh, we are up by almost 70 stars with three wars yet to go. And it's just, it's straight domination. We are well on our way to Masters League. Um, yeah, just get out of the way or get three-starred. And that can be pretty much just shown by this clan right here. I am so sorry. I, I don't even, I can't pronounce your name, but you're a level 22 clan. And you're going out just bad, unfortunately. Look at this. You are getting three-starred all the way down. So far, we have a perfect tour. It should be a perfect tour. And that is mainly due to the mismatch that we present to enemy, uh, enemy clans. Uh, thanks to my Discord server. If you guys want to hop in there and uh, apply to be in one of my community clans, go and do that. And that is how we have created a force. We have 15 or 6, or mm, I said 15 or 16. We have around 10 Town Hall 16s. The rest pretty much Town Hall 15s. And well, at least in Crystal League 3, I thought it was going to be a crapshoot. But, well, it seems like we're actually going to come out on top and join the ranks of the those in Masters League next month. And this is where the rewards start picking up big time. Because, look, currently, if we get first, we get 270 rewards or reward medals. But even if we get last place, and Jacob's Clash will never get last place, hopefully, uh, that you get 268. So I think at a minimum, we're receiving without the bonus medals. 300 plus medals or at least close to that next month that's insane that's like almost uh, that's 120 per hammer 240 360 if you get the bonus medals you could get maybe three uh, hammers in one cwl season awesome for progression for everyone in my uh, clans and let's just go over here and show the general war log as well uh this is our clan war league history since the start of 2024 what do you see? What What's the trend? What's the trend line say? All green. First, second, second, first. Hopefully we can add in our first on top of that. But we started at the bottom. We're going on up. And our classic wars, uh, it looks very, very similar. We're 56 and 15 overall. Pretty good for a community clan, I would say so myself. Uh, a lot, a lot of perfect wars. We had a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, perfect war streak. And then we've missed out on two stars out of the last seven wars overall. Yeah, it's like I said earlier, complete domination. Unfortunately for me, uh, when I'm recording this, I don't have another attack for seven hours. Uh, pretty much, it hasn't been a perfect war for me thus far. In four war wars so far, I have got three three stars and one two star against the Town Hall 16. I believe it was like an 85 or so percent. But pretty much, like I was saying earlier, it's been a mismatch throughout the entire process. It's a Town Hall 14. If I fail as a Town Hall 16 on a Town Hall 14, I just need to go and delete my account. I just need to quit Clash of Clans. I need to retire. I'll go and switch over to Heyday. Uh, but luckily for me, as you see, we got a 3-star, so we don't even have to worry about it. But before we go and do anything else, I want to show you it's not just our Jacob's Clash Clan that is absolutely killing it. It is also our rushed clan, and I'm, I, I know yesterday, I guess I showed off our uh, war. We did end up losing yesterday, which is unfortunate. This is in our JC rushers clan. This war day has just started. It looks like I've already been three-starred. Uh, that's annoying. But as you can see, we are also in first place over here by a good uh, 40, 45 stars. We did lose two uh, wall breakers for yesterday. But as long as we can hold on to those top two places, we will also be getting promoted over here. But I guess without further ado, let's just go over here and get an attack in. We can boost our army. Can we also boost our heroes? I really need to. Can we uh, buy any anywhere? Oh, dear. All right. I get it. I might have spent some gems to get to these hero potions. But I wanted to save some time. I got some stuff to do. It's finals week. I got a final tomorrow. I got to study. But... We also need to play Clash of Clans and get a video out. So let's go pop a Hero Potion, pop a Power Potion. We are on our Rushed account. That's kind of what we do, right? We are very underprepared. If we don't have our potions, we only burn them all when we are in CWL. So there we go. We now have max troops. 
max heroes let's go in and reinforce our troops right here and it should be a steamroll of a three star we are number four we are technically a town hall uh what are we town hall 15 this is technically a town hall 14 so we should be in the all clear here we are using a queen walk root rider attack strategy but let's give it a go i am plan on queen walking this town hall and then everything else can pretty much come secondary so starting with the queen over here i'm going to funnel with a couple sneaky goblins and the rest can be with a baby dragon and let's make sure to just monitor our queen's hp make sure she's not going below that important threshold of oh no oh oh no this always happens to me uh, uh we we are in danger danger zone all right this means we need to start the rest of the attack go in with all the root riders go in with the uh, all everything pretty much let's save a couple of the witches up on this top side and let's do it all right i am going to place a early rage spell right here and then let's place a free spell here let's place a free spell here we got some witches in the clan castle coming out i'm gonna pop the warden ability here sooner than later three two one right now and we're gonna pop the king's ability as well hopefully this log launcher my goal is to just go in and get this town hall while everything else just walks around the outside here uh that poison was placed just a little bit too early there unfortunately i'm gonna rage up right here we're going to freeze right here i'm hoping these root riders and just is it like one valkyrie yeah can get it done here i'm going to end up healing right here as well i'm going to throw my uh, warden or my royal champion ability as well there we go town hall does go down that single inferno roasting our royal champion that's stuck in the tornado trap is so unfortunate like ridiculously unfortunate i don't think it'll end up mattering we should have enough firepower for the end of this space i'm going to use this final heal spell probably should have used it somewhere else uh the only thing that could be an issue now at this point is time but i think we have enough of these skeletons in here where we should be able to get it done uh come on uh skellies let's let's move over to that single inferno there um i don't know i'll be back with you guys in a minute to see if we got the three star done all right well i guess i forgot to show the final clip here but there is a three star three star it wasn't actually even that close we had like 30 seconds left over but we are keeping the perfect war streak alive in both clans uh there we go it's very very early days but so far looking so good all right this time on our strategic rush let's once again keep this perfect war streak alive this time we are using queen walk hybrid again my favorite attack strategy ever in clash of clans i just queen walks are just so satisfying uh let's use our sneaky goblins to funnel out both the sides and let's use uh do we really need to use any baby dragons right now i guess we can use one right mm, i don't think we're gonna need to use one actually okay i might because well that was a waste right there uh that baby dragon's gonna die but his sacrifice will be remembered uh, let's go in and wall break right here uh what a terrible wall break okay what wall break oh there's a hole in the base i was like why are you not going to the inner town hall there uh geez these air defenses are perfectly placed for, just to be annoying enough i'm gonna place the king here with the siege barracks behind we are going to pop the we don't need to pop the queen's ability i thought we might need to i'm gonna uh, place the warden we're going to freeze right here those are perfectly placed uh, inferno towers actually wow the king is dead uh this uh, we need to this hybrid portion needs to be absolutely insane pretty much everything i love and hold dear in life is dead um well uh, in clash of clans uh my mom and family and uh, friends uh, they're all still doing good uh but here we go rest of the attack is looking fine uh yeah town hall goes down queen is actually putting in work she's dead she pulls that trap right there and let's just place a heal right there we're gonna have some sneaky goblins to clean up the back side we have two freezes for the back end as well we're just going to use that for the inferno probably and we'll also heal one more time on top of the inferno and look at this wizard cleanup squad oh my gosh they look so sick in that purple sneaky goblins running around as well final free spell there's really no splash left other than this wizard tower so i guess let's use it right now we're going to place these final three archers just at the top side and we always will save our royal champion ability till the very end just so we make sure we're not time failing so if she does have to throw her seeking shield she can hit all four uh, four corner huts uh but or until there's just four buildings left 
like now. Let's throw it and there. Okay, well that was that was worthless. But there we go. That is another three star and a perfect CWL day for us. Three for three overall. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed, once again, help me out by liking, subscribing, join the Discord. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.